It's the kings with our jewels. Will Punjab be able to saddle up and find a little bit of silverware in IPL 2024? Well, if they want to do that, they've got to get their batting order in check. Who will bat where? We do know that Darwin is going to open the batting. He's made a mountain of runs in that position, but he has a slow strike rate. So do we go with Tired or Prabhasimran Singh? I think those two Indians should be batting out three and four. And Darwin should open up with Bairstow. Bairstow is a very aggressive batsman out the top of the order. And if he faces the first ball, he's got a healthy record there over a long-standing career. He has a strike rate of 160 at an average of 50 if he faces the first ball of a game. So get him up there. Let him face the first ball because he's more aggressive than Darwin. He can get you off to a flyer and take the pressure off Shikha Darwin and the two Indian batsmen that are going to come in out three and four that I've mentioned. Livingston will come in out five. Obviously, very aggressive batsman, but you don't want him coming in in the first 10 overs. You want to make sure that top four do the bulk of the work and Livingston just comes in in the final eight overs and does the damage out the back end with Jitty Sharma and Sam Curran to come in out six and seven. So that's the order that I'd go in with the Punjab Kings if you're going with the main 11 now. The Punjab's bowling attack especially their pace, is sensational. I like the inclusion of Harsha Patel. He gives greater depth to their bowling attack and he can be utilised with the majority of his overs being uh, utilised in the back end of an innings. He's very good in that uh, in, in those death overs. I think you'll see Curran and Arsdeep Singh both opening the bowling, both left armers, and both like to utilise the swing that the new ball presents. And uh, I think they could really create a few problems to other teams' top orders throughout this IPL. And if you go with uh, those three particular pace bowlers, with those roles, then you really free up uh, Rabada to be able to be used more strategically with his extra pace and really match him up with opposition players that uh, really could take the game away from Punjab Kings. So their pace department is looking strong. Rahul Chaha is a very, very good leg spinner, but not a massive wicket taker, can bowl tightly. That is probably one slight weakness there. I, I love the way that Rahul goes, goes about his business. He's done extremely well in IPL cricket and he's got a lot to offer. He's going to be supported by Livingston with the, uh, in that spin department. So that's the 11 that I think the Punjab Kings will go with. Impact players, there's a lot of Harpreet in there. So if you want to go with the impact player as a batsman, you'll go with Singh. If you want the bowler, you'll go with Bra. And if Bra comes in with his left arm off spin, he will complement Rahul Chaha. And that will be a very good balance. Now, looking at the coach's perspective, what they'll be really working on before this tournament starts, Trevor Bayliss will be looking at Wazim Jaffa, his batting coach, and uh, trying to get him to exploit all the talent that he can out of the Indian batsmen that are going to be batting around Shikha Darwin. If you can find a couple of Indian batsmen to stand up and deliver, Punjab Kings have got a fighting chance to be in the finals out the back end. But if they can't find two Indian batsmen to help the main uh, batting core out the top five, then Punjab Kings 11 are going to finish in the bottom three. So I don't see Punjab Kings going away from 2024 without any jewellery.